The next question will first go to Roy Madsen, and the category is Board of Directors. What will you focus on during your term? How will you measure your progress? Roy? I think we've talked about a lot of things that uh, uh, that probably does need some focus. Uh, there's really, I'm going to look a little bit more from a process perspective to start with. Okay, first of all, is that I think that we need to have more broad input to many of the issues that the colony faces. Uh, a good start of the information that we have received from the uh, resident survey. Um, uh, other tools that are connected with that are things that we can use to address some of the issues that have kind of been raised. Using one example is, is that there's a lot of discussion about various activities that should be uh, 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 put forward at, at Forts Colony, be it a, a, a bubble over a swimming pool, okay, or a fitness facility. There's major questions that are connected with that, uh, such as how do we pay for it uh, is, is, is a big one, and who's going to use it, okay, and who, you know, et cetera. And to get answers to that, we really have to have a better understanding about what, about what people think. The second part is something that I've raised here a little bit, and that says that I would like to see a little more risk management in our discussions. And risk management, in my mind, is understanding what the current state is and how it will be infected by the environment going forward. Um, uh, it comes back a little bit to a little bit of the thing I said about the pipes. Um, and then, and then, lastly, is that uh, I think we need to have a little bit more of a strategic focus so that we can meld where we're going with what we have to address now. Now, when it when it gets down to the specifics, you know, and some of those operational items, that's all going to come out of a discussion that we have when the board meets to begin with to determine what the goals and the objectives are for 2021, as well as what they should be moving forward. Thank you. Thank you. Ray, you're next. Uh, thank you. I, I'm going to start like I, I started last year, which is really the, the, the survey The survey is is our, our input from our, our residents. This is really the one place or the one thing that we get we get a lot more people who who voice their opinion people who who it's our, our meetings tend to have you know very 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 personal things in mind when they do that the survey is brought on that uh last year uh, i did this and I'm, I'm actually in process of doing this now reading reading all the comments because a score is one thing comments are, are another to understand what what people find uh, important and then once and once i call like that that's what what, what i'll use uh moving forward now, last year after I did that, uh, I was asked to, to become the uh, the treasurer, and, and frankly, the treasurer is is close to a full time job as anything you would have here in in Fort Collins. And and so so I, I did sort of lessen my impact of looking at the list I put together, and and I start working uh, more as as the treasurer. But I, I I'm reviewing the uh, the comments on the survey now, and and putting together what I think are are important points made and we'll, t we'll take thank you okay thank you you're next a couple of things that i'd like to see a couple of things that i would like to focus on next year if i may is tightening up and moving forward the goal setting pro the board goal setting process right now our goals are communicated out in april that's too late over one quarter of the year is gone. Uh, we need to move that process up. How do we move it up? Perhaps we change the way we look at goal setting so that the outgoing board, whose last meeting is January, lays out what their recommendations are to the new board. Providing recommended goals, recommended areas of focus, so that the new board, when it takes over in February, has a baseline. That, I think, would speed up the process. I think then we have to look at the inputs into the goal setting process, inputs such as the survey. Let's move the survey up earlier so that we have time to get community input through the survey in advance of that goal setting process so we have time to just digest it. I think we have to look at other areas of bringing in community comment more than just the survey. 
I like, and I mentioned something earlier, I'd like to expand our use of focus groups. I, I just think that we should be doing them, doing them on a more ongoing basis simply to gain spontaneous input because that's really where the where the where the knowledge is is just getting people to come out of their shell and open up and talk so moving the survey up having targeted focus groups to get gain community input Ray, roy's comment about risk analysis definitely on we look need to continually look at those risks update those risks and bring that into the goal setting process start that goal setting process earlier completing it earlier, and then finally measuring and publishing six, a six-month position. Where are we? Letting the community know how we're progressing. Thank you. Bob Boccio? Excellent comments being made here. I think Rick made a good one. Uh, setting goals in April is just too late, and uh, his recommendation is not a bad one to pull it up. Uh, maybe other ways to do that, but that's not a bad suggestion. My, my observations are that it seemed to do a pretty good job of dealing with problems that show up, the current stuff. And we make a, a, a valiant attempt at solving a particular problem. We don't do very well at looking beyond the current. What's the impact of the decision we made to solve today's problem? And what's, the, what's that going to look like five years from now? Um, I go back to the speed tables. We tried to solve the current problem. We didn't, we didn't really do a very good job of vetting that. There are warnings all over the internet that those things are not solutions to anything. They're known to be noisy and they turned out to be very noisy. And we had to deal then with the noise problem. So my, my plea is we need to be a little more careful about how we pick a solution to a current problem and try to be less myopic and looking down the road at what the impact of our decision is to solve that problem. That's all I have to say. Thank you. Daphne? Um, listening to everybody, there's some really good comments here. Um, what I think we probably all agree on is that the board really um, should be looking at the strategic issues um, in a deciding issues that come out of the surveys, you know, the direction of the community, as Bob says, you know, let's not just make a decision today, let's consider what it does for us in the long run. The problem with that is that these folks meet um, and they have to decide. A lot of it becomes a discussion thing within this community and small issues, things that, you know, really, in a way, are a little bit of a waste of these people's time. And it's part of our governance structure. They are the sole deciders. And only a few things get through on the consent agenda. Um, in the thank God the transfers, because Ray usually has at least half of the transfers, they are on the consent agenda. I think perhaps thinking about more day-to-day -day items being recommended by the um, advisory committees and making their way to the consent agenda would give the board more time to deal with strategic issues and think ahead and really guide the community forward today's issues all the time um more personally if if i was elected to represent folks my focus um would be data driven i believe in making decisions based on data i listen to people um and try and get the right information and then collaborate to to make sure that that um progress uh, if I haven't been shot by the by the end of the session, then I guess I succeeded. Thanks so much. That's my my time.